to another episode of Drinking Wild Black. Got a review today. This is coming from Drecker out of, hold on, where is Drecker from? Where is Drecker from? Fargo, North Dakota. Uh, this is their Master Manipulator Double IPA. I've had a few things from uh, Drecker. What they've known for, in my opinion, is the uh, fruited sours, heavily fruited sours. And they make some real good ones. Um, I think they make some milkshake IPAs too, which that's not really my thing, but they're known for their uh, heavily fruit of sours. This can is um, crazy looking artwork. I, I don't even really know how to describe this. You got a Halloween pumpkin, you have a ghost on here, you got, uh, I don't know, some weird characters, some hand puppets looks like, just a bunch of stuff going on there, but it's definitely very intriguing. Um, this brew is made with a uh, Pearl Two Row Oats Carafoam Spelt, and the hops are Vic Secret and Citra. I love Citra. Do like Vic Secret, but I'm not a like huge fan of Go Crazy. But Citra is definitely my favorite hop. I use it a lot when I brew. And uh, they say their yeast is the House IPA yeast, which I don't know what that is. Um, trying to see the ABV, 8.2% ABV. So definitely a double IPA, and we can get into this joint. Never had no IPAs from them before. This is an old beer. It might be still good, maybe not. If not, you know, it is what it is. I'm pouring it hard to see if I can get all the hops out. Okay? For being over a year old, because that's definitely what this is, it poured nicely, man. That's crazy, surprisingly, right? Uh, beautiful, golden, peach-looking, um, yellow, hazy color. Uh beautiful white head on there that's not dissipating at all and it just looks very very nice and i'm using the glass special glass just for that reason just in case this was a very old very bad beer but anyways we're gonna see what i get on the nose okay i'm getting some tropical stuff some peach some um stone fruit maybe some guava Melon. What else I get on here? Definitely a lot of tropical fruits on there on the nose. And it's like soft. It's not overpowering. I can't get nothing else on the nose. Anyways, we're about to get into the taste. Cheers, y'all. Peach up front, nectarine up on the back end. Um, getting like a bitterness, which is firm, but also some softness to the mouthfeel. Um, very creamy. Has and then probably the reason why this head ain't dissipating is because they use oats in here, which gives you a little bit more body. Uh, gives more, um, allows you to have a fuller head on the beer, which is where a lot of your aromas come from. Um, Definitely smooth as hell. Let's see what I get out of the taste. Yeah, so I'm getting a lot of peach, a lot of tropical fruits on there as far as peach, subtle pineapple, citrus, melon, um, lychee fruit, which I've only tasted it a few times coming through on my, my brews or beers that I've tasted before. Um, and the bitterness on here is firm but soft, if that even makes sense. But meaning that it's there. You taste a little bit of it. It's like dry finish. But then you have a softness from probably the oats, maybe the uh, whatever they put as far as the minerals in the beer, as far as maybe some calcium, some gypsum, whatever, calcium chloride. Either way, this is a very, very nice drinking and easy going beer. It does drink like a double. I will say that it's not a heavy double, but it drinks like one you can taste it in there. You can taste a little bit of the booze, um, but it's definitely a smooth beer.
yeah it's like a dryness on there but subtle i can't even say piney but it is a subtle subtle sort of pine to it or resin but it's a nice joint i'm definitely giving this thumbs up very good beer um something that i can't say i would necessarily look for again but if i can get it fresh because this is a year old if i can get this fresh i like to try it out either way it has not fell off at least in my opinion and it's drinking real real good so if you have not had this i recommend getting it master manipulator double ipa and this definitely will get you manipulated yeah that that makes sense you got hand puppets on here so master manipulator this will get you manipulated you know what i mean like i said that 8.2 is showing up in there it is nice it's definitely not heavy but it's there and you know you're drinking a double ipa and not in a bad way because this could be drank all year round whether it's summertime and you 90 degrees outside or whether it's winter time and you just want to have something that's nice and refreshing because this gives you that it gives you all those tropical notes in there which makes you think you're on a beach etc so very good job very good beer something nice man i like to see what else they offer in the uh, world of ipas because i've had all their fruit and sours not all but i've had a lot of their fruit and sours which i'm kind of over that now I'm on to a different thing. My palate has matured, my taste buds, etc. So, uh, fruit of sours ain't for me, but I always will drink IPAs. And this is something that I definitely highly recommend. So, if you haven't had it, get it. Definitely get it. Um, if you guys are new to my channel, make sure you like, share, subscribe. Cheers to everybody out there drinking good, good beer. Till the next time I see y'all. Stay safe and be healthy. Peace.